Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy Leo and welcome to my channel. Today we are playing Dauntless. And we are going to be taking on the Drask and he is a Shock Behemoth. We're going to be taking him on with, his, with Shock Armor as well as the Recruit's Warpike. We're also be going to be taking along the Slayer's Flask which restores 425 health, can be used to revive a slayer when downed and can be used 5 times and it recharges between hunts. Then we're also going to be trying out the Blitz Tonic, grants between 10% to 30% increase in attack speed based on the health missing for 60 seconds, limited to 5 on that you can take with you on a hunt. And then we're going to be also using the Bulwark Tonic, it reduces damage taken by 45% for the next 3 hits, limited to 3 per hunt. And we're also going to be taking along the Transfusion Grenade, throw a Transfusion Grenade that will detonate when impacting a Behemoth, dealing 240 up to 450 damage and creating 3 healing orbs that will seek out injured slayers and heal them for 120 each, depending on the power damage scale of the weapon. And you're limited to 3 of those per hunt as well okay it seems like we oh there we go we have discovered where the behemoth is hiding let's go and kick his butt I was quite pleasantly surprised on the performance of the the pike The bike is quite a quick weapon. And quite theatrical. The Drask is quite a quick opponent and he's got this rolling attack that he does. That's the use of a fusion grenade. Does quite a bit of damage and that's the use of the healing potion. Storing some health, getting right back into it. I have a shield that is activated through the lantern and that is the L1 button. It can be used once every recharge and protects you from one hit at a time. Attempt to throw a fusion grenade, didn't make contact. And that was an example of what it looks like when you throw a fusion grenade and you miss. Shield is recharged. And used. And taken away. Well it does protect you from that one shot. The Jask has now lost his tail. Seems like we're getting somewhere with defeating him. This is what a fusion grenade looks like when it hits the target directly. Unfortunately we didn't get a chance to use all the perks we've taken along. However we've still managed to defeat the lesser Drask. I hope my video was helpful. Please do like, subscribe and share. And I will see you guys in the next one. Leo signing out for now. Bye-bye.